Low commodity prices, ratings, downgrades and high debt levels are some of the risks Africa is facing at the moment. Delegates at the Africa Risk Conference underway in Johannesburg have heard that African economies need to diversify to curb over-reliance on raw commodity exports. Sub-Saharan Africa is expected to grow at 1.4% this year, down from the average 5% two years ago. The slump in commodity prices has seen major economies struggle with sluggish growth levels. The lack of diversity and manufacturing activity have seen Africa vastly affected by the slump. Ratings downgrades remain another risk which will likely lead to even lower growth levels for longer periods. You've got commodity exporting countries, in particular the oil exporters, experiencing significant depreciation. And as you rightly said, it's translating into very high inflation in the case of Angola, close to 40 percent. And um, the debt levels, as you correctly put, are also increasing. Um, particular countries, I mean, now Mozambique is probably the um, most significant example, uh, where we've seen the debt levels now heading towards 100 percent of GDP. But East Africa is also seeing growing debt levels. And that just reflects, uh, in some cases, um, growing infrastructure spend, in particular in East Africa. In other cases, it's misgovernance on the fiscal side, and I'll include countries such as Zambia in that club, as well as Ghana. And because growth is slowing, it implies your debt-to-GDP ratio is increasing faster. The low growth environment will escalate some of the socio-economic challenges the continent faces. Our low growth rates are definitely a problem with a 1.4% growth rate predicted across the African continent and a 0.5% growth rate predicted for South Africa specifically. Obviously that will manifest itself in issues like greater unemployment, uh, lower levels of capital to reinvest and we are a country that desperately needs to invest in innovation to get our manufacturing up for example, to diversify. So we have to really focus on structural economic reforms in order to, to um, improve the growth rate, but to specifically invest more into the medium and longer term rather than having a short term view um, to address the real substance of what is going wrong in South Africa and the African continent. Other risks facing the continent are high inflation in a weak growth environment. The continent is also battling climate change, visible with the El Nino phenomenon characterized by the drought. This has increased food security challenges and left countries that use hydroelectric power with serious power challenges. Gloria Safago Mosi, SABC News, Johannesburg.